Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. I was on vacation, but I got back last night and that is why I am doing this video today. I probably would have done it last week, but I did just want to give my thoughts on whether or not we should be selling t-shirts related to anything Russia, Ukraine, Ukraine, Russia. Uh, generally speaking, I like to play it safe. Most of you guys that are already subscribed to my channel, you already knew that I was going to say that. Uh, I believe in this as a long-term business model, and I know that, uh, and you know, hopefully by now, that we are really at Amazon's mercy when it comes to merch by Amazon specifically, which just so happens to be my number one opportunity, if I had to rank them, to make money with print on demand and not just make money, but let's just say to make a full-time wage with print on demand. I know more people doing it with merch by Amazon than anything else. So I really think that, you know, given the uh, long-term time horizon that you can kind of set for your merch by Amazon business, is it really worth potentially putting your account at risk for any niche, right? Like I know it can be enticing when we see you know, I mean, I took a screenshot, as you guys could probably guess too, that I took a screenshot of uh, some research tools. I'm going to show you how well some shirts are currently selling, but I'm going to give my thoughts as we go. And we're going to do a quick refresher on the content policy to see if we should be allowed or shouldn't be allowed, you know, based on the policies to uh, sell in this niche. So why don't we get started? So I came back after like five days or so in Florida, just relaxing, didn't work at all. And expected to see you know some activity in the facebook groups like this post asking if uh you know are the ukraine designs a no-no you know are the russia designs a no-no um obviously if you look at research tools you're going to see them popping up amongst the uh, best sellers so here from pretty merch pro plus research tab we can see that the um you know bsrs here of just the first row of shirts it's crazy i mean you got one at 900 bsr you got some uh under 2000 you got a couple right around 3000 and uh, you've got the of course the I'm not old I'm classic shirt which has absolutely nothing to do with uh, with conflicts in um, in geopolitical affairs but that shirt just always has to be amongst the best sellers cuz for whatever reason it just is um, good design I guess so guys I, there's a huge spike in interest in this topic over time uh, you know, I, do I even dare to say it's political that there are people on both sides? I don't know, right? You make up your own mind. I'm not trying to even go there. Uh, the whole point is, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And then the inverse of that is, is also true in sight, in mind, which is part of the steps towards making, in this case, a t-shirt sale, right? In this channel, we're talking more about e-commerce, right? I know you could go into tangents about like all the other talking points, but no, we're talking about selling t-shirts today. Oh, I just realized I'm blocking the interest here. Let me hide myself. Check that out. Check out that spike. So this is the search term Ukraine shirt over time. All right. Over the last five years. And it is probably safe to say, you know, 12 to 15 times higher than it's ever been based on previous highs over the last five years. Suffice to say, guys, there's interest in selling shirts related to Ukraine. All right. We already knew that. That's why you're watching. I go to Redbubble. I check Bubble Scout, like three of the top 10 things and maybe even more. I didn't check all of them. Uh, there was one related to like Hillary Clinton's emails. I don't know where that came from, but oh, yeah, uh, said Hillary Clinton emails. Now this video will probably definitely get uh, suppressed by the YouTube search algorithm. But anyways, hit a like, hit the like button, though, if you want to help me, because um, it has nothing to do with any of those things. But that's just the world we live in now. You can't talk about certain things or you get suppressed. Um, three of the top 10 things in the Redbubble trending searches were related to Ukraine. And now it's like, okay, we know people are buying. What should we do with our accounts? Now, I already told you up front, my general recommendation is to stay away. Stay away, stay away. Because even if, let's say, you were able to get a couple shirts through, number one, they could update the approval rejection, the approval slash rejection algorithm the next day, right? And all of a sudden reject everything. So you might think, oh, I got it through yesterday. So I'm going to get a couple more through today, get rejections. They could remove the existing um, designs that we're able to get through. Uh, again, I don't work for Amazon. I don't have any contacts there. This is just me speaking to my five years experience. We've seen basically everything at this point. So I'm just reminding you that, oh, I'm still, I'm still hidden by the way here. I'm back now. I'm still just reminding you guys that like anything's possible in this case. And uh, I'm laughing because it's like, man, it really shows that I was uh, on vacation and not on my computer at all whatsoever. But here we go. We are back at the Amazon merch content policies. 
now that I've reminded you guys that I think it's generally a best practice to stay away from anything that you're not 110% sure, okay? 110%, meaning not only are you sure that it should be okay, but you have that extra 10% that doesn't actually work with 110%, but I'm just saying, you want to be above and beyond confident and not lose a wink of sleep at night over your Merch by Amazon account because unlike pretty much every other print-on-demand opportunity out there, uh, Merch by Amazon, you know, when it's gone, it's pretty much gone. Um, so you really want to protect your account. Plus, you know how hard it is. You got to put blood, sweat, tears, and time into scaling up your account. So I really think over the long time horizon, whatever amount of money you think you can make in the short term by risking something, not worth it. Okay, so here we go. Content policy. I will link to it in the description in case you want to check it out for yourself as well. They have rewritten this thing many times since I began selling. Uh, they have condensed it quite a bit, which is kind of like their way of saying we reserve the right. Like they, they don't want to explicitly state things, I don't think. I think they want to keep it generic so that they can reserve the right to pretty much do whatever they want. Also, keep in mind that like what's the market cap of Amazon really quickly? All right, this is a company that is worth currently 1.54 T. Who knows what T stands for in this context? Yes, yes, you in the back of the class. Trillion, okay, $1.54 trillion. Who thinks Amazon wants to risk their reputation over selling T-shirts that may piss off some people? And uh, you know what I mean? There's typically two sides of a coin. So let's just say may piss off a lot of people. Yeah, they don't want to do that. That's probably why they also, even though they love making money hand over fist, don't let you advertise politics, right? So that being said, here we go. They do not want to allow content that promotes, incites, or glorifies hatred, violence, racial, sexual, or religious intolerance, or promotes organizations with such views. I'm not going to say anything, actually. <laughs> content that graphically portrays violence or victims of violence. Content depicting children or characters resembling children in a sexually suggestive manner. Uh, youth size products that may contain adult content, profanity, and or sexual references. Content related to human tragedies. So, again, that could easily be expanded uh, to say nothing related to Ukraine. And natural disasters. Content using profanity to attack a group or individual. Content that promotes illegal activity. Sexually obscene content and inflammatory content. So very generic, very high level, I would say. They did not get into much detail. They certainly, if you remember some of the older content policies, which you could probably look up on archive.org for an old copy, um, used to definitely get a little bit more specific. Now they're just like, you know what? No, we're keeping it high level. Uh, so ultimately, guys, I think it's safe to say to stay away. Now, have some of you guys probably gotten into this niche? You, you probably have successfully. Um, does that mean that generally speaking everybody who watches this video should try to here's the thing if you can't i know some people get the itch and they just cannot resist if you're gonna go for it my one recommendation would be don't do it through merch by amazon do it through fbm you know amazon seller central do it through redbubble do it through anything else i just think that the merch by amazon account needs to be kept especially safe we know that they are by far the strictest with the approval uh, algorithm but guys as i wrap the video i did just want to show you a couple of the best sellers and some of the uh, dates that they were posted. So this one, um, I guess I cut off the BSR. It's got like a 5,000 BSR posted February 27th, 2022. So these are all posted recently, the best sellers. Uh, this one posted March 1st, 2022. This one po posted February 26th, 2022. This one, February 23, 2022. Last one, February 28th, 2022. So a lot of them got through recently, but even when you're doing your research, applying the process to validate and verify, um, just remember that these things can turn on a dime and these existing ones that got posted can be removed. I'm not saying they will. I have no insights. I just know that it's better safe than sorry. All right. I keep saying that. So you guys get the point. Thank you for watching, guys. As I wrap the video, did want to remind you, I have a full Amazon course. Well, Merch by Amazon course walking you through how I went from tier 10 to tier 200,000. You can find out more. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.